difference between culture and heritage? Yeah, yeah. Um, well, Owen was correct when he said that uh, the, the terms have been used interchangeably. Uh, uh, in term, in, as a matter of fact, it has become very elastic. Uh, in, in the context of the arts, for example, the use of the term culture relates to how a, a society's history, beliefs, values, traditions, and icons are manifested in the artistic format. Uh, the term often embraces indigenous and natural culture, depending upon the perspective of the proponent. Uh, for the purposes of tourism planning, uh, the following working definition are often employed, and, uh, adopt, and I personally have adopted that. Uh, for example, heritage tourism uh, is seen as sustainable tourism activity that is or can be aligned to physical or intangible heritage. And much of the time, when we speak of heritage, we, 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 try to, we, we age it. We, we, we think of something that maybe mostly for, from, from a distant past that has been passed on. Um, and, and, and quite often, culture is, 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 it collapses on us. It's, it's, it's old and it's new. This culture is static. It, it is evolving, always changing. So for example, I'm wearing a shirt jack today, and some of you might have assumed that I'm from Grenada, maybe Morris Bishop was a hero today. <laughs> and it's a cultural thing for some of us from the Caribbean to wear shirt jacks, not only because it's warmer there, but also stylistically, because it, it, may be, it, it separates us a bit from the European style, which I also adopt. But we, we, it's about culture relates to, to lifestyle, you know, we dress, uh, what we eat, the way we dance, uh, gyration is not only about sex, it, it's also about how we express ourselves based on other and historical fact, uh, factors. Uh, uh, let me just mention something. Physical heritage, for example, built structures and surrounds, cultural landscapes, historic sites, ruins, archaeological and maritime sites, physical heritage, intangible heritage, oral traditions, languages, rituals and beliefs, social practices, knowledge, human activities, etc. And uh, cultural tourism now, we see generally, is a subset of, the tourism, of, of, tur of tourism that is concerned mostly with the traveler's uh, engagement, as our sister here was sharing, with the country or region's culture, the engagement, specifically the lifestyle of the people in those ge geographical areas, the history of those people, the art, etc. So for example, when you go, and I'll use Grenada as an example, uh, and you can, I can use another country too, but in, in the case of Grenada, for example, the jab experience, you know, we have even developed a sub-genre of soca, jab soca, uh, an evolving thing. So foreigners come, the students at SGU, they enjoy it. They, they immerse themselves, they enjoy the participate in that. Now, how do we monetize that? How do we, how do we capture that and, 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 and transform that into something where we can make money out of it? And the promoters do. The, the artists do when they get booked, uh, and, and even, 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 you know, we have forums where, and events where we cater especially for foreigners, where these people get sometimes paid more than they get when they perform before, before the locals. So there, there are ways to do it, and I have some examples, and we'll get to that later, but I just wanted to mention some of these categories uh, in terms of how we can distinguish one from the other. All right, thank you, thank you very much.